Hi, this is Luke from NGN. Today we're going to talk about more God Strike. If you're unfamiliar with the game or you haven't seen our other God Strike content, check it out. It's a twin stick bullet hell shooter from the Overpowered team and published by Freedom Games. Uh, we're going through the game, we're getting guides, we're doing reviews, so check the website, check the YouTube, check the blog, other God Strike content, so you can familiarize yourself with the game. Today, we're going to go over the skills. There are a lot of skills to go through, so we're going to rate them on 1 to 4. 1 being regular badass, it's pretty cool. 4 being so cool that your brain melts out of your ears while you're watching the, the skill unfold, and it, it's just so cool that you, you have a seizure of how badass watching it unfold is. So, you want to find out which skills are the coolest? Stick with us and find out. Alrighty, let's get into the skills. Starting at skill one, Herald Step. We're gonna give that a two, super badass. Being able to zip around the enemy boss and evade projectiles is key in this game. And Herald Step takes us to the next level. You can push your assigned key to Herald away in a panic, it'll save you, or as part of your movement speed strategy. You'll zip around, get away, get into a better position for a counter. That's pretty good. It's visually a little uh, underwhelming, but it's a very basic skill. You wouldn't expect a lot of flash. So we give out two out of four. Moving on, skill two, Arcane Shield. We're giving this a two as well. Skill two gets a two. Much like Herald Step, it just takes a gameplay mechanic and helps you use that more effectively. You want to evade projectiles in God Strike? Well, now you can do that and ensure that you're not making any mistakes by using Arcane Shield. If you do make a mistake, you get hit, activate the shield just prior, and you're okay. Number three is Cleanse. Cleanse is very, very good. It deletes all the pro enemy projectiles on the screen. So, you're feeling overwhelmed, or you want to clear an entire wave of enemy attacks, you pop Cleanse, they're all gone, and you can get on with hurting the enemy. If you get yourself stuck into a corner, pop Cleanse, everything is cleared, you can get out safely. That's pretty good. Skill four, we're gonna talk about time lapse. That gets a one for us, that's regular badass. It's okay. The effect itself is pretty good, you slow down time for a little while, but you have to put some souls into it and it doesn't last that long. It just feels a little cost heavy and a little undertuned right now. You, you can save your life, sure, absolutely, but that means you're holding on to the souls to use it and not using other skills. So it takes up one of your four slots. It's just under tuned. It needs a it needs a bump up. Skill five we're gonna talk about is overload. That gets a four. That is fusion rage mode times ten badass. For a short time, every single one of your right clicks turns into a ride spread ability. You get four. You get AOE damage, you get more damage, and it looks really cool. Enemy is allowed to fill up the screen with their attacks, but you can't? Man, nuts to that. Overload. Use that, you even the odds, and you look cool doing so. Okie doke. Moving on to skill six, Future Rhythm. That gets a one, regular badass. Not too much to be said about Future Rhythm. For a short duration, you get higher attack speed. That's about it. It works well with the attack speed passive, but the appearance is underwhelming, and the damage, you can find it elsewhere with other skills that feel much more satisfying to use. Skill 7, Chrono Blast. That gets a 3 for us, and that's Omega Badass. The damage you can pull off with the bomb, it can really help you nuke a tough boss. It's a really fantastic spell or ability, whatever you want to call it, and a great way to spend your souls on damage. If you've got a mix of damage utility, which you should, and you haven't included Chrono Blast, give it a consideration for your damage skills. It's a big AoE, and it hurts. Next is skill 8, Singularity Beam. That is a 4 for us, which means it is a Fusion Rage Mode times 10 badass skill. It's a giant laser. It's a DBZ Energy Blast. <laughs> what more can you say? It's just one of the coolest looking abilities in the game, and the feedback you get when you use it and it collides with an enemy, it feels good. The damage is great, and <laughs> Unlike me, you need to know that you can control the laser if you initially miss or the enemy moves. I didn't know that the first time, well, the first few times using it, once I discovered that, the skill became a much more viable one for me. 
that's my bad. <laughs> skill 9 is True Aim, and we're giving that a 1. That's regular badass. It's a good utility skill, don't get me wrong. But the lack of an impressive visual aid when so many other skills in this game look really good, eh, it's underwhelming. That's about it. Yes, your attacks are being pulled towards the enemy, they have a slightly different cue, but it's, it's not great. Good utility, um, but the better you get at the game and connecting with your right clicks, the utility falls off very fast. It might seem very good initially, but as you get better and better at the game, it becomes less and less useful, and you don't want it taking up your utility slot. It might get buffed, it might become a really cool homing missile attack, but right now as it is, if you play better, you'll find less use for true aim. Skill 10 is Tempo Shards. We're giving that a 3 out of 4. That is Omega Badass. Ninja time. Tempo Shards fill out all the boxes. It looks cool, it's really effective, and you feel like a weapon, man. Like zooming around with the ninja death stars around you. Yeah, that's as cool as it sounds. The drawback, however, is you have to get close enough to deal the damage, to get them to either touch the enemy or seek them. You have to get quite close, and having those wear off time or ability-wise whilst you're close enough to take projectile damage, that kind of sucks. But it looks cool, the damage is great, and if you can finesse the timing, it is fantastic. 11 is Spark and is one of the best skills in the game. Um, you've heard me talk about utility versus damage, you want a good mix, guess what, well Spark is both. You can use it as utility or you can use it to hurt things. Turn into the Spark so you can't be hurt, projectiles, you get stuck in a corner, you're worried about taking a big boss ability, use it as a save, that's fine, you turn into a Spark, you can't be hurt. Or you need a nuke to finish off that last little bit of health, use Spark, jump on them, deal damage. Spark is fantastic, so it gets a 4. Fusion Rage Mode times 10 badass for Spark. Moving on to skill 12, that is Doom Purger. It gets a 2 out of 4 for us, and that is super badass. I can't give it a 1, because the damage boost is quite significant. It's quite good, but it takes up a utility spot, and it isn't visually impressive. So, yes, you can take Doom Purger for the damage, but maybe just consider grabbing a passive instead and using that active slot for something that's a bit more useful, either damage or utility-wise. It's good. Uh, skill 13, Soul Quiver. We're giving that a 3 out of 4, which is Omega Badass. That's right. Using skulls on a, <laughs> using souls, not skulls, on a skill doesn't mean that the other skills you have lose their soul charges. Meaning. Soul Quiver boosts your soul economy by a huge amount, it's enormous. Grab both the soul passives and you can be consistently and constantly using your abilities. It's not a 4, it's very close to a 4, but it's not a 4, it's a 3 because the souls aren't automatically added to your pool. You still have to wander around and pick them up, but aside from that, it's really, really good. Skill 14, Phantom Slash gets a 4, Fusion Rage Mode times 10 badass. Swords are always cool. Every game that has swords makes cool. Gold Strike, no exception. The AoE for the sword slash itself is really big, so that means the ability really easy to get off and the damage is significant. You're swinging a giant sword at the enemy with every cast and that feels super fun. Skill 15, Moonlight Spears also gets a 4. That's Fusion Rage Mode times 10 badass as well. Moonlight is great for many of the same reasons that Phantom Slash is, but it's ranged. Throwing the spears is easy, means you'll rarely miss, and summoning a group of sort of like 300-esque spears and throwing them at the boss, hell yes, that feels good too. Moving on to skill 16, Mystic Blast, Omega Badass, that's a 3 out of 4. You can spam this, it has a low cost and a quick cast time, you have plenty of them off. If you've got enough experience with the game and you manage these effectively, the damage can really pay off. Look, first using it, it might seem underwhelming, but quantity-wise with how many you can get in, the damage adds up and it looks cool. That's good. Alright, Illusion is skill 17 and I'm giving it a 3 out of 4, which nets it Omega Badass. It's a utility skill, which is worth taking up one of utility slots, absolutely gives you impunity for the projectiles that are coming at you and lets you fire abilities and right clicks back. They're gonna be busy elsewhere. You can do your thing. 
not much more else to say about Illusion. It just does what it says it does, and it does it really well. The enemy targeting, it's, it's coded very well, which means Illusion works very well. It's worth a utility slot. Skill 18 is called Celestial Stasis, and don't let the name fool you, it's not really a stasis, it's more of a blast of energy, I don't know. Anyway, it gets a 4 out of 4, making it a Fusion Rage Mode times 10 badass skill. One of the few, but it worth it. Okay, so you can't move whilst getting Celestial Stasis off, and maybe that's where the name comes from, but that's the only drawback. So what are you getting? A damaging skill that is A, cheap to use, B, you can get it off quickly, and C, visually. Look, it's one of the coolest games visually, and it'll make you feel badass every time you connect with it. Moving on. Skill 19 is called Radiant Flux, and I'm giving it a 3, which means it is a Omega Badass skill. Flux is good for many of the same reasons that Mystic Blast is good. You can spam it with the low cost and cast time, and the damage ramps up in longer battles. Get plenty of them off every time you have the chance, and you're sweet. Okie doke, moving on to the last active ability, Astral Orb, giving it a 2 out of 4, meaning it's one of the super badass skills. Astral Orb is one of the very few skills that works both as utility and damage, and that might, it might sound incredibly good and an instant 4, but it only removes the projectiles that it connects with, and it does require some finesse to get the damage off in both the direction you throw it and having it return to you. So. I don't know, it just feels like a watered down version of Spark and the utility versus damage wise, but it takes up an ability slot and Spark is just so much better. Alright, that's going to cover it for our ability rundown for God Strike. Keep an eye out for more God Strike content and make sure to let us know what you think down below. Thanks for listening.